Here's another Rockin problem that uses the fundamental theorem of calculus, this time part two. We're going to be working on 19 in 4.5, that's on page 475, and it says evaluate the integral. And our integral is from negative 2 to 1 of the quantity 3t plus 2 squared dt. Okay, so what we're going to do, wrote the problem down ahead of time, is I'm going to find an antiderivative for this. Uh, how's that work? Well, notice I have sort of a function inside a function. Uh, that's a candidate for u substitution. So I'll say, okay, the u, I'd like to get rid of the piece inside, so let me just think about that as one piece. u squared, I know how to integrate pretty well. du, in that case, is 3 dt. Can you see that? That's the derivative there. So, uh, I don't quite have du here, but if I had a 3 here, well, can you just write in a 3? You can write in a 1 third times 3. That's called a clever 1. I've circled du. So, what I'm going to have is this is going to be equal to 1 third. Now, these limits of integration were t values, so I'm going to write out that because when I change my variable I need to remember and I need to indicate to my reader those are t values. This is my u so I'll have u squared and this circle is du. Okay well what is the integral of u squared? It is one-third u cubed. So I'll leave that one-third the integral of this is another one-third u cubed evaluated from t equal negative 2 to t equals 1. Now, here's the issue. I need this in terms of t. Well, luckily I know what u is in terms of t. So, let's see. I've got 1 ninth 3t plus 2 cubed. And I'm now evaluating, since this is in terms of t, there'll be no ambiguity if I write these t values there. Okay, so what's that give me? If I plug in a 1, that gives me 1 ninth. That'll give me 5 to the third. Uh, that's 125 minus 1 ninth. What happens if I plug in negative 2? I suppose that's negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 to the third. That's negative 64. I have no idea how that became a 2. That's a 9, right? Uh, so I suppose I could factor out the 1 ninth. We could do a little bit of fun subtraction inside. So uh, 125 minus 60. Oh, oh, wait, wait a second. These are canceling each other out, so I better do some addition. That's going to get me 189. Now that's rather convenient because I believe that is divisible by 9. Hmm. So this div divided by 9 is actually 21. And there we have it.